The mountains are calling. What a cliche. Words on a bumper sticker the person behind us reads while sitting in traffic. The mountains aren't calling, and they're just fine without you. It's us who are searching. Us who are restless. Us who are longing. And when I sit in traffic, staring at that bumper sticker, only one place comes to mind. Every. Single. Time. Avocate. So here we are, in the Sawtooth of Idaho. Four of us searching for the summer's last great adventure. A record-breaking fire season has postponed this trip to October, the edge of winter. Our plan is to hike roughly 30 miles from Redfish Lake in Stanley, up over the Barren Divide, past the Barren Lakes, to the Sawtooth Lodge in Grand Jean. But on day one, we were already making a detour. Up a creek bed, we followed the non-existent trail to the lake where elephants perch. Welcome to the Sawtooths. Welcome to Saddleback. So here we are, back in my favorite place on planet Earth. And this afternoon, we are at Saddleback Lake, one of the prettiest lakes in the Sawtooth. It's off the beaten path though. There is no trail here or no trail signs. You have to you have to be able to find it. You gotta do a little route, route finding and uh, know your way around here. But if you can get here, it's stunning. The iconic geographical feature is actually right behind me. That is Elephant's Perch, kind of like a mini half dome looking thing. A lot of rock climbers come up here and, and climb that. We are late in the season here in the Sawtooth. It is October and um, it's fucking cold out here. <laughs> extra challenge to this to oh. this excursion oh shit oh that breeze sucks oh. <laughs> oh. Woo. so for this one i invited all the people i met out here this year and i got three guys to come with me on this one we've got all sorts of different skill levels on this trip so myself and larry are, are pretty experienced backpackers and then Chris is just getting into it. He's done a few of these trips. And then Matt, this is his first time. So <laughs> we're gonna get the full experience gamut while we're out here. We all met in Stanley last night, stayed at Stanley Lake. And then this morning we drove over to Redfish in the Redfish Lodge and took the shuttle across Redfish Lake to the inlet. Entry location, what's this, the Redfish Inlet? And that is where our hike started. Our plan is to hike all the way from that inlet to Grand Jean, but this is a little side hike that we, we incorporated. So then tomorrow, we will scramble back down, <laughs> rendezvous with the trail again, and hike over to Barren Lakes, crossing the Barren Divide. It's gonna be one hell of an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. So here we are, you, me, us, in the sawtooth. Ho ho ho. Ho ho ho. Oh yes. Yeah, look at that. Oh! <laughs> Easy, dude.
So far in my backpacking career, the majority of hiking I've done has been by myself. And I find there to be a lot of benefits to going out into the wilderness alone. Self-reliance, peace, just learning about yourself, learning how to be with yourself. But man, is it fun to go with a group of people. We don't even know each other very well, but a couple nights out here and you learn everything about one another. And it's always felt rewarding to be able to share the outdoors with people through, through these videos, but to be able to share it with people in person is just a whole nother thing. And I know a lot of people watch these videos and they don't like that I do this. They don't like that I show off this place, but it's never made sense to me. I mean, I love this place. This place is a part of me. And that's why I don't get why people feel the need to hide these places. I think that society, social media, whatever, it's made us paranoid. Do you know how much time and planning and effort it takes to come out here? <laughs> it's like we planned this for four weeks, invested a lot of money to have the right gear to get here. And then when we're out here, you have to strap on this big heavy pack and climb thousands of feet and miles just to get to this place. Your back is hurting. Like, these people aren't gonna, aren't gonna hurt this place. They're gonna be advocates for it. They're not enemies, they're allies. Like, if you love something, if you truly love something, wouldn't, don't you wanna share it? Don't you wanna share it with others? Don't you wanna say, hey, this place is so awesome. Look at how awesome this place is. I love this place. You'll love this place. That's how we used to be as human beings. I don't know what happened. There's this crazy distrust among us that <laughs> that person over there in that place, because they come from there, will destroy my place. Anyways. I'm rambling now. I hope that these videos give you the chance to just sit back and relax, to fall in love and to vibe out with the Sawtooth Wilderness. This is uh, Barren Lakes. There are three Barren Lakes. There's Upper Barren Lake, this one that we're at, just Barren Lake, and then another one that we'll pass today, Lower Barren Lake. Just this grand sawtooth basin. It's just glorious down here. And today we'll wrap up our journey with a quick 11 mile trip down to Grand Jean and the Sawtooth Lodge. And when I mean down, I mean down. We're gonna lose 3,000 feet of elevation today, so should be a breeze. I cannot believe this sunrise.
In my experience, the mountains don't call. But if you listen, they will speak to you. From Redfish Lake to the Sawtooth Lodge in Grand Jean. Epic, epic. Learn more about the Sawtooths and my journey in them with this playlist. Join me for the live stream next week where I'll break down this hike in more detail. Link in the description below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Yeah.